Welcome to another Pixlet tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to look at how to combine two images to make one image using a layer mask. So I'm starting with the dingo, then the picture of Uluru, and combine them to create this picture with the dingo in the foreground of Uluru with some text. So what is a layer mask? Imagine you've got a sheet of paper. And on that paper there is some text. Some of it will be revealed and some will be hidden. You place another sheet of paper over that text and that is your mask. You can't see anything below that page. Cut a hole in the mask and the text below will be revealed. Someone looking at that text will only see what you want them to see and not the rest of the page because the page is masked. So in effect, layer masks hide or mask certain parts of a layer. So to start with, let's just open up the two images again, Uluru and the Dingo. Now just check the sizes of these two images. The main picture, the Uluru picture is 840 pixels, whereas the Dingo is 642 pixels. So when this dingo is put onto the foreground of Uluru, it's going to look too big and a little bit out of place, not natural. So we really need to resize the dingo first before continuing any further. So resize, image size, I'm just going to halve it. 300 pixels, that's it, that is 100%. which once, it's, once the background's cut away from that will look fairly natural. So we're going to work on the dingo image first. We need to unlock the background and then with the lasso tool roughly outline the dingo. And it's the dingo that we want to keep. The rest of that image can be made transparent. And to do that, we're going to add a layer mask, which will mark out that part of the image that is not selected. So add a layer mask, and the background is now hidden. Let's make that a bit bigger. And what uh, we need to do now is erase the background from the dingo, just leaving that. So you can do that with the wand tool, but I'm going to use the eraser. And Magnify in the navigator the image so it's a bit easier to see the edges. Select a small brush, a uh, soft edged brush. And then, this is the slow part, with the edge of that brush resting on the, the image of the, the dingo going around the outline. And it's going to take some time, some patience. If you want to get into these little bits inside here, you can actually change the brush to a smaller one, so maybe a five, where it's smaller. Magnify it a bit more. So you're getting right into the edge there. If you've got a short hand, you can just draw a line. I just find that's a bit difficult. And when I've got a big enough area, change the brush size with that size, and then I can rub it out. I will go away and finish erasing the background and then come back in a moment. So here's the finished image with the background erased. If I magnify that a bit more, I can still see little bits that I've missed. So you can just move it around on the navigator and anything that's sort of got any bit of colour in it. You can erase again. And once you've done that, save the dingo as a transparent image. So you go to File, Save. I'm going to save it as a transparent, a PNG image. Renamed it. And save. It's already saved, so I'll replace it and close that. So now what I want to do is to open the Dingo and place it into the image of Uluru. 
So I'm going to add as a new layer the transparent dingo using the move tool, move it into place, and then save that as a JPEG, Uluru, with dingo. 100%. Now adding text. Currently got two layers. We've got the background layer, then the, the dingo, which has been added as a new layer. Now I'm going to put some text on. Now if I start typing the text on the same layer as the dingo, if I make a mistake, and want to delete that text or delete that layer, then the dingo will disappear with it. Right, to add some text, let's create a new layer. So I can either do it from the layer menu, new layer, or from the layers palette. So I'll do it from here. And rename the layer so I know which one it is. This is going to be the text. Layer 1, dingo. So I can sort of use the layers palette to see what where everything is and tap click the a the text is just going to say uluru and then you can choose the font i'll just keep it at arial and the size go up and down I'll make it quite big but make it bold change the color if you want to change the color you've got the color wheel so if i want it to to be green I can just move around this like it to the greens and then pick the particular shade of green and then as I'm doing that I can see the color changing in the text box. I want to pick a color that's in the image for the text instead of just doing black. So I wanted the, the color of the air's rock there. Pick the color picker tool, select it and that's the, the shade there. Then I can get a different shade so if I wanted a bit darker say that color now I've got the hex code which is probably going to be important for translating that into the text box so I'm going to copy the hex code of that color because if I do OK I'll pick the color if I do OK the text doesn't change I have to select the color while I'm in the text box so here's the color and I can just paste in now and then do OK. And now that text has changed, which looks a little bit better because it's closer to the, the colour of Air's Rock of Uluru. Now what else you can do with text is have some text styles. So it, it needs a little bit of a shadow, I think. So in the, it's, it was still working in the same layer. There is a text styles, and that text styles would can be used for whichever layer you want. So uh, selecting the layer and then picking the text styles affects that layer. The layer is highlighted, that's the layer that you're working with. So I want text styles and it gives me some options here. Perhaps I want uh, an outer glow. And if I click outer glow and then tap there, the current color is blue, which is not what I want. So it may be a black. I know black is a hex code, all zeros. So I can change that to black, and now it's got a black outer glow. And you can then fiddle around with opacity and the hardness, the size. And if you don't like that one, well, don't think we'll try outer glow, but perhaps we'll try drop shadow. And that's again, hit the drop shadow, it's, it's black change the color but you can also change the angle so if I move that and move it that way so it actually looks three-dimensional that way or this way and then the distance and the size so maybe it needed, wanted a bit closer Capacity and then OK. So it's starting to look a little better. 
I can move it around as long as I'm on that text layer and I hit the move tool. I should be able to move that around so I can experiment with where I want that to go. I think I'll keep it there. And then save your image. So I'll save. Ruler of Dingo. And there's the, the finished image. Combined the dingo with Uluru and added some text using layer masks. That's all for now.